Good morning everyone, I'm here at Silverstone for a test day in my new, well new to me, SR3. I have upgraded from the SR1, a couple of reasons, mainly stability, the threes are just so much more stable, they are also a lot faster. Um, but we're here with Silverstone, GP track, and there's a lot of sick other cars. We've got some Lamborghinis, some Bentley GT3s, so there's going to be a lot of fast traffic out there. But um, I'm going to introduce you in a bit to Ollie, who's my coach, and we're basically going to try and go through the day and see where the biggest chunks of time I can knock off. I'm going to try a bit of left foot braking, I've never really tried it in a race car before. And have a look around. had one stint and <laughs> have a little bit of feedback. Basically today, we're gonna try and chop off as much time as possible and maybe better, I guess. I hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope so. Yeah, we hope so uh, what's, what's, what's the number one thing so far? Throw some balls. Throw some balls, yeah. I'm not taking everything flat, so. It's, it's, it's just technique really, isn't it? It's all it is, it's fine tuning, refining the line, not extending corners. Yes. Maybe just calm down a little bit with the steering. <laughs> so at the moment, I'm, I'm steering like really quite aggressively and actually upsetting the car. And then also missing a couple of apexes here and there. I've had a bit of understeer, but it's probably driver error. Rather. Do you know that looking at your video, it looks more like oversteer than you've got. But it's understeer because you're not attacking the corner. Yeah. You're not carrying enough engine speed. That's, that's what so, I think, because I'm not going fast enough in. Yeah, you're creating the understeer yourself yeah. by turning halfway into the corner opening the throttle, it allows the car to sit down yeah. and then you get to the apex but you've got a bundle of power on to the front So that would block. explain why it feels really twitchy at high speed because I'm doing a, even like a little bit it's like... Yeah, I think with these particular cars you have to be silky smooth yeah. and very pitch perfect with it. You have to be very accurate all the time and if you just wind a load of lock on... I think that's it, I'm just like... Thinking, <laughs> you will be like you'll be like a drift machine all the way through. And the problem is every time you go into a slide of these cars, it's two, three, four, ten it's gone. Because yeah. there's no power to get you back. So really it's about rolling momentum, keeping the thing moving, dancing, but not drunk dancing. Yeah. You know, it's kind of the most logical way of putting it, I think. Oh well uh, get out of there again and uh, hopefully I'll get faster. Yeah, I hope so. just got out of the car after the second session and we changed a little bit the setup but I've had a sort of revelation this car is so much better than the one it is quicker but just from a handling point of view I feel like I feel like I can be a lot more precise whereas the one I was just wrestling with the car the whole time just like chucking lock at it and going sideways whereas this you can just sort of just turn a little bit and taking some of these corners flat and sick is one of the best feelings ever and then we have these Lambos coming around and some of them are, they're taking the piss a little bit, but having a lot of fun.
first time before I lose this little debrief with Ollie. I think I'm, there's a couple of things I've got to move. I've got to move a couple of breaking points. Just a couple of corners I'm just overshooting and losing a lot of time. And then I'm not using all the track, like every single bit of curb nailing every single apex, which could be a, a second around the whole lap. So that is my target for the next set. Hopefully I can knock off another. I want to be sub 210. <laughs> still a, way, a long way off, but a long way off. I can't have qualifying time, but it's just chipping away, finding the little bits and trying to sort of slowly get yourself there. You don't suddenly knock off five seconds. But if you can lock, knock off half a second, come in, knock off half a second, come in, then you slowly get there. That's it. Finished up the day now here with my uh, lovely coach. It's been good fun, actually, isn't it? <laughs> and it's been good. I've started off at the beginning of the day doing two thirteen, something like that, ish, something like that. It's so slow, I don't remember. It's really, really slow. <laughs> uh, no, they well, actually were timing, and then they stopped because it couldn't be worked. It's falling asleep. I actually drove into the other pits to say hello to them. Um, <laughs> But by the end of the day, we've got down to like a two nine ish, two nine and a half. Yeah. Um, which is which is some some time off. I wish I could find it now. <laughs> I'm definitely driving better than I was. It's definitely just getting used to the car, how much grip it has or hasn't got. And uh, yeah, pretty. pretty well, happy. I think you've done quite well. Yeah. Here we go. Ten, ten three is your fastest actual driven lap. Yeah using your sectors of breaking down each individual corner and adding together your best sector types we can view and see what you're capable of is an 8 to 2 so it's like 2 and a bit seconds you should be within half a second of that so that tells me that you're not quite consistent enough yeah. you're still learning the car you're still trying to put together a lap so once you develop and you spend some time in the car, you'll be able to match that really within the About right. Yeah. But your actual what, what do you best think of driving a, a fast that time today? Like a, a six, if I got in the car, I reckon I'd... No, back if seven. I got in the car, I'd do, I'd do like a 59, 159. <laughs> in a Formula 1 car. Um, no, but you've actually driven a 9.5, yeah. 2 minute 9.5, but it's picked it up from somewhere else on the lap. Uh, yeah. Where you maybe haven't made a mistake as much. Yeah. Like that. So it's promising, considering it's your first day in the car on one of the hardest circuits because it's so long. That's cool. Yeah. Happy days. Well done. So anyway, wrap that up. It's been a good day. Now I just need to get faster. When's the next day? <laughs> <laughs>